Hey, I'm Maxwell Ryan, and welcome to my dream home. I, I started off my life as an adult living in a tiny little 250 square foot apartment. And I learned a lot working with the constraints of that space. I'm fascinated by the ability to succeed in, in those areas and make a space work. And when people walk into it and they go, oh, I feel so good here, I like this. I go, ah, good, you know, then we, we've learned something. And it's a science. There are learnable elements to setting up a home or a room that are doable and attainable by anyone on any budget. That's the beauty of design. So here's the kitchen. It is an Ikea kitchen. It's a high-low. It's got high appliances, but low cabinets. It also has no upper cabinets, just open shelving. Come on into the living room. It was about 10 years ago, I was walking through Soho and I saw this beautiful showroom and they had these beautiful wide plank floors in the showroom. And I thought one day I would love to build a house with those floors. So here are the famous floors, the planks, chairs, Oh, chairs that I designed, but I didn't, it wasn't necessarily for this house, but they're awesome. And this ch table is really cool, look. It's got three legs. Really soft carpet, really important, really nice. The big credenza by John Berg, Berg Design Architecture. Shaker peg rails. These are great. They're, they're outdoor blankets. They're waterproof and they're warm and... Ah, here we go. This is a perfect example, there's no closets in the house, but there's this great standing storage, which some people complain about, but I think it's great use of space. And the planks are the same as the floor. Yes, you guessed it, it's a theme. And then this is fabulous wallpaper. There's only three walls with wallpaper in the house. They're all by the same person, a guy named Joseph Frank. Each guest room, it has not just a door, but it has sliding doors out. And then the back opens up. <gasps> Hi guys. And now upstairs, come. Same wood. It's all the same, all through the house. And even the doors are made out of it. See, this is where you watch the crown, stuff like that. But this is really what we do. We, we, this is where we work. We work. Urgh. These are faux fur blankets and these are great. And then rugs, more rugs, makes it nice and soft. Layering the rugs is nice. I actually bought too many rugs and I didn't know where to put them, so I just put them on top of one another. This bed came from Jason Home in Chicago, really nice. And then these linens, frankly, the idea was just to shade it because the light comes in, in the morning, it's hard to sleep in. And I found these from this lovely woman on Etsy and she works in Ukraine. So this, this stove, I was uh, inspired by this because in the southwest, I went to a wedding in New Mexico and, and all the rooms had fireplaces in the corner and they were lovely to have a fireplace in your bedrooms. Then th this is the bathroom. This is the bathroom that was inspired by a bathroom I was in years ago in the Caribbean. I was staying with friends and it was perfect. It had a sink over here and a shower over there. There was a walk-in and a tub in the middle and I thought, why are not all bathrooms just like that? And then we put the crazy tile in, which is the fun part. The floor is heated and the towel rack is heated and that's really nice in the winter. In the city, you have to dress serious and go to work and all that sort of stuff. And out here, you get to lighten up a little bit. This is the garden. The weeds like the garden a lot. This is one of my favorite places. It, it used to have, it has a deer fence around it, so now that you, you can grow flowers and herbs and roses and everything, and they won't eat them, which is great. Home is a space that in itself is just a backdrop. It's, it wants to be like a, a machine that supports your life inside it. it, it and, and when you're in, in a good one, you feel it. You feel like, oh, this is comfortable, this is cozy. I, 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 and actually there's, it's practical and it's, oh, I know where to cook and I know where to sit down and eat. And there's, there's a chair for me and there's a utensil for me. And your home is your retreat at the end of the day. It's your launching pad at the beginning of the day. It's where you recharge. It's where you see yourself, you express yourself, you 
it, it's an intimate space. It's also a space you share with family and friends. So to that extent, homes are incredibly important foundations for your life. It could be big or small, it could be rented or owned, it doesn't matter, it's still your home. And it's the only place you have in the world that's yours. How's that? That was great. Convincing? Faster, louder. Hey, that's. I think we got it. <laughs>